Espen, Yuki, and Ludo are in Chamonix, France, to attempt to fly under the bridge on top of the spectacular peak at Gil de Midi. It has never been done before. This is absolutely ridiculous. I'm gonna watch some crazy people do some crazy shit. It's a very calculated risk. What they're doing is definitely pushing the boundaries of the sport. It's gonna be awesome. I don't think it's stupid at all. Yeah. There's something about flying under the bridge. <laughs> crazy things uh, under the bridge there. Well, I don't think it would be possible because the weather is too bad. France has the highest mountains in Europe. Placed just under Europe's highest peak, Mont Blanc, we find this remote bridge on top of a Gil de Midi. From downtown Chamonix, you have to take two cable cars to get to the almost 4,000 meter high peak. Most of the time, it's covered in fog, it's windy, turbulent, and the weather is changing fast. It's so steep, it's hard to imagine that it's actually a bridge up there at all. The plan is to fly under this bridge. It's never been done before. It's a big risk, and they have no idea if it's even possible. It's a very challenging jump that needs a lot of preparation. You don't get a second chance. You cannot fall. You cannot fuck up. So for me, it was, without a doubt, no choice of going under the bridge. We need to understand the approach before we actually can fly. So it's the kind of place where uh, we need, first we need to scope it at the top. And 10 meters wide, yeah. like here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pushing steep, very steep. On top of a gear with D is a bridge. And uh, it's about 20 meters under the bridge. It's about 10, 15 meters wide. And I've had this dream for five years, and that is to fly under that bridge with my wingsuit and just follow the couloir down onto the glacier run, down to Chamonix. It would look freaking rad. You have this, this cable going down here, um, crossing the line that you need to fly to get, um, to get under the bridge, but over the couloir. And it's true that it blocks half the way, so it cuts a window in half. The cable you see is a, is a mind fuck more than endangering your flying. If you're actually in danger of hitting the cable, you're way too low. You're actually so low that you will hit snow and rocks at the same time. This is, this is a gamble, total gamble, when it comes to whether it's possible. Or not. Because it's 3,800 meters and it's always wind up there. I mean, uh, I've been up there 50, 60, 70 times, I don't know, and uh, maybe one out of 10 times you have calm wind. Yeah, yeah. The rest one of the time is breaking strong. I'm not 100%, I'm not sure if this is gonna work. The entrance, the altitude, seriously scary, seriously scary. I get sick to my stomach just standing on this bridge. Why? <laughs> because it's so sketchy. Oh, come on. It's not sketchy to stand It's not there. sketchy. It has to be well prepared. It feels sketchy. About it. I think we just have to jump out of the heli and make some kind of free fall decision. Basically. That's what we have to do. Preparing for a jump is the strangest thing. The most, if you can call it nerve-wracking moment I have, is when I wake up. And I think it is because that's the, the point of the day, the time of the day where I have the most uncertainty. Because I haven't seen the weather, I haven't started mentally preparing for the jump, uh, the jump yet. I just know it's gonna happen. And that's actually the moment where I'm at the calmest. Because then I know, I have concluded, I have done all the preparation I can, and it just feels great. Feeling when I stand there on the edge and I let go, is pure feeling of control. After several days of waiting, the weather has finally cleared up, and the guys will try another attempt. You guys focused? Yeah. Good? Yeah. yeah. Okay, sure. Okay, we're getting in position over the bridge. Okay. 
to fly under the bridge. As soon as I flew through uh, or under that bridge, it was just this huge euphoria of like pure joy and the stoke was like, yes, we made it. When I saw the bridge and the hall and I flew towards it, I, I just, inside of me, I was like, yes, yes, it's working, no problem. And we flew through it, awesome feeling. It has been a blast and uh, Chamonix always delivers good times with good friends. Yes, man! <laughs> <laughs>